very good players, but we, we have uh, the players on the court are very talented and we have the most depth we've ever had. And, and we've seen it by just, you know, players like Rachel Fairbank stepping in or Chia moving positions. And um, so we, we feel like we're, we're talented on the court and if we need to make a change or the person coming in is ready to go. Yeah, similar apologies because I know we talked on calls before, but the practice, the depth of and being able to have competitive practice and, and spreading over into matches, how much has that played into what we've seen this year? I mean, th that's the thing. I, I guess that that's how I, d I describe myself and my staff is that we obsess about the level in our gym. And, and we do that because if we're playing at a high level in our own gym, we don't feel like we need to find something new when we get to a game. So we just we just do what we do. And Coach, uh, what's it mean to have like two ACC teams in the Final Four with uh, uh, two Big Ten teams? Because uh, historically, pac tens always been very good. Yeah. Uh, California, and that's where you're from too. Where, yeah. Where's the kind of like the, um, you know, the hotbed for volleyball and stuff. So what's that mean? Do you see like a growth across the country with volleyball? It's kind of like not so much. Hundred percent. Yeah. The there still are better and worse pockets, of course, um, but but women's volleyball is the number one women's sport in the USA in terms of participation. And, it, and it's by a huge margin. And so um, what, just the success of the ACC, what it really means is, um, you know, that recruits know that, you know, they, they can, they don't have to go to a certain league if they wanna, you know, fulfill their goals. So I think on a recruiting side, it's, it's huge for our conference. I guess, oh, sorry, George. Go ahead. Uh, she said, one of the words she didn't want to use was complacent, being just happy to be in the final four. Yeah. Have you noticed from your team that, that there's more to do? That they're not just happy no, to they're be they're there. they're totally clicked in. You know, it, it's uh, I'm confident. Win or lose, it's not going to be an issue of preparation or focus. I mean, this is you know, this is what they've been dreaming about, and and this is Jay Vitovich, you know, our men's soccer coach. He talks about this a lot. The thing about that's nice about making a tournament run is just how engaged and how focused the team is, you know, on every video session, on every, I mean, they're locked in. And so um, this is the, this is, you know, although it's the end of season and we're all tired, this is the funnest time, you know, to coach, you know, because of the level of focus they have right now. I feel like the program's 